Hey, what's up, Zach here. And today I have the play test and performance review of the Lecoq Sportif LCS T01. Now I know I have made a huge deal about how great the materials are in this shoe, how well built they are, and frankly, how comfortable they are on foot. However, we still have yet to play test them and see if that all really translates to performance on the court. You know, at least here in the States, there's a lot of unknowns with Lecoq Sportif, especially with these tennis shoes, just because this company doesn't get a ton of press attention. And these shoes, at least to me, are kind of a relative unknown. So I cannot wait to get these on court and see how they play. Here we go. First thing I noticed about playing in the LCS T01 versus tearing it down and seeing the midsole, is with every step, it feels like there is a little trampoline under you. This almost feels like Adidas Boost, but with just a lot more of a denser Boost foam. It almost feels like what Adidas Boost, kind of what a little more elite athletes want from it. It's got the cushion, but it also has a ton of spring. Now you can definitely tell that these treads are made for hard courts. You know, I was kind of concerned a little bit about their grip on hard court. However, they do grip incredibly well. But one thing to keep in mind, they are meant for hard court sliding. So if you do make a little slide into your shots on a hard court, that little wave herringbone-esque type pattern is definitely your tread. So if you like to slide on a hard court, these are great. However, if you don't, one more little quick step and these still grip exceptionally well. You know, getting back for big forehands like that, having to jump into the shot, just shows you how much spring back that this midsole foam has. If you look at the serve test, 32 centimeters on that, and this really isn't a big maximalist shoe, but that shank combined with the ultra responsive foam still does give you a ton of pop. And the nice thing is, even with a little bit more of my lazy footwork, I've actually played in a few weeks, the flange and that TPU shank down there really still does give me a lot of stability when I'm kind of off-footed or I'm kind of off balance, which I really am right now. So a shoe like this is really great for somebody maybe who's trying to get their footwork back or trying to kind of get back into the game. So we're only about halfway through playing with these, but already I can tell you what these are in one hyphenated word, and that is well-built. You just really can see what happens when people take the time to design a shoe correctly and frankly borrow ideas from other shoes, but do it in a really good way and actually combine it with really well-made materials, and you get a shoe that plays tremendous and is also ridiculously comfortable. I think but the most important thing about the LCS T01 is how well they take corners. With this whole TPU outrigger that goes all the way around the shoe, plus that medial shank under your arch, this shoe can get up and down on corners so quick, quicker than just about any other shoe I've tried this year. As you can see, 14.61 seconds on the suicide test, I really haven't been doing this for a little while, and it's in the heat of the day. It's like 90 some degrees outside, humid, so I'm honestly not at my best. And this shoe still outperformed a lot of others. Can't say enough about how this shoe takes corners and just how sturdy it is on those corners. Now, because the T01 is made of a full bed of EVA, it's just one big pile of it, it's not going to last as long as some other shoes out there on the market. You're gonna get a durability somewhere around there between light strike foam and bounce foam more on the bounce foam end because it is so dense. However, you are gonna pay the price for all that performance and comfort and just in terms of durability over time. You know, right now, I haven't played in a little while. I'm actually trying to lose weight, so I haven't been eating as much. It is just super hot. My legs are feeling a little tired, but I can still get a little bit of a pop into the ball because these shoes are just giving me just a little bit extra. So honestly, I know I've been kind of waxing poetic about these, but all these kind of factors here tonight, which I thought was gonna produce maybe not the best test, it, this shoe is just really proving how well it's made. One thing that maybe a little underrated in these shoes looking at them is just how aerodynamic they are. So getting up to the net, they do cut through the air really well. That combined with the cutting power I was talking about before in the suicide test, just does make this a lethal mover shoe. Now, if you wanna take a deep dive into the weight, fit, specs, and of course, tear down, of the Lecoq Sportif LCS T01, make sure you click into the video up above and subscribe down below. Respect rubber and foam. I'll see you in the next video.